Hello friends, welcome to Automation Copy Edit. Today, in this video, we are going to discuss an example on conveyor line with rejection. So, let's look at the example first. Conveyor line with rejection. The conveyor should stop for 10 seconds and a puncher will be on for 20 seconds, sorry, for 2 seconds when a defect is detected. So the defect will be detected by a sensor which will activate puncher for 2 seconds and which will stop conveyor for 10 seconds. So let's move to EcoStructure Machine Expert where we will draw a ladder diagram for conveyor line with rejection. I will open Eco Structure Machine Expert Basic. I will keep read protection as inactive and write protection as inactive. And then click on Apply. Then I will click on Configuration tab. So here is a list of different logic controllers. I will be using TM221C24R. I will click on it and drag it to here. We want to replace yes. So here is a device description. Then I can also go to serial line where I will select protocol as TMS2GDB and then click on apply. Then I will go to programming tab. So here I will be drawing ladder diagram for conveyor line with rejection. I can also click on this option to set a full screen mode and then I will zoom into it like this. So firstly, I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign address to it as I 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as start button. Yes. And then I will insert a coil here and I will assign address to it as Q 0.0. .0. I will also add symbol to it as conveyor. Yes. And then I will insert a functional block timer. Sorry. So we will add a new rank here. And then I will insert a normally open contact. I will assign address to it as I 0.1. I will also add symbol to it as sensor, which will detect the defect. Yes. And then I will insert a coil here. And I will assign address to it as M0, which is a memory bit. So, when sensor will be on, memory bit will be on. That is, when a defect is detected by the sensor, memory bit gets true. And we will use this memory bit to turn off the conveyor. So, here I will insert a normally closed contact that will help us to stop the conveyor. M0. So the memory bit should remain on for 12 seconds. The conveyor should remain off for 10 seconds. So I will insert a timer here. And that should be TP. And I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 10 and then apply. So when I turn on start button, conveyor will get on. And then 
when sensor gets activated that is when the defected product is detected then memory bit gets true for 10 seconds and this memory bit turns off the conveyor as a memory bit remains true for 10 seconds so the conveyor should also remain off for 10 seconds and with that I will draw a line like this so with that when sensor gets activated I will insert a coil for puncture I will assign address to it as Q 0.1 I will also add symbol to it as punch yes so when sensor gets true that is when a defect is detected conveyor gets stopped for 10 seconds and also puncher gets activated for 2 seconds so here I will insert a timer for puncher and that should be TP I will change time base to 1 second and preset value as 2 and then click on apply. So when start button is turned on, conveyor gets turned on and then when sensor detects a defected product then M0 gets true for 10 seconds which in turn turns off conveyor for 10 seconds and with sensor on puncher also gets turned on for 2 seconds and after that the conveyor should start again for that here we will use a normally closed contact so without using a normally closed contact the conveyor gets turned on by itself so I will exit full screen mode. I will compile the program. And then I will go to commissioning and launch simulator. And then I will start controller to do so click OK. So I'll go to programming and click on full screen mode and then when start button is turned on conveyor will be on. So and if the sensor gets activated that is if a defected product is detected then M0 will be on for 10 seconds and which turns off the conveyor for 10 seconds. And after that conveyor gets true. As when, I, when sensor gets activated also puncher gets activated for 2 seconds. And the conveyor will remain off for 10 seconds. And after 10 seconds, conveyor gets true by itself. It was all about this example. Thank you for watching.